Hi team, today I'm here with Anna. Today we're gonna do turfting. Tufting. Tur <laughs> Tufting. <laughs> So what is tufting? Tufting is um, making carpets um, and um, it's kind of like had a bit of a resurgence I think because um, you used to just use a little needle. Now it's a full on um, electric gun. It's actually <laughs> technically um, an AK-3. I just saw it on Instagram actually. So this machine um, feeds through the wool and locks into the uh, fabric and um, this cut this kind of thing at the top cuts the wool. This is one that I've done previously um, and you can see it's really shaggy, the frame. Yep. Um, you can have it in sort of like any sort of size. This fabric's called Monk's Cloth um, and the weave is sort of like a checkered sort of pattern um, and that just means that the wool kind of gets interlocked into the checks. These bits here feed the yarn through. It's easy if you just kind of do sort of straight lines, nothing sort of diagonal. If you do a diagonal cut through the fabric, it warps and it cuts the fabric. I thought maybe we could make little coasters on it. Oh, that's a good idea. So you get the pen and you mark out where you'd like the things on the um, fabric. You to start with, just make it really simple. Okay, let me draw it down. Your we feed the wool through this uh, machine and yep. it goes up the top here, the wool goes through and then through this little hole at the top there uh -huh. um, and you have about that much space on the end with the wool at the, just hanging down um, and you can kind of, you start at the bottom and work your way up. Oh and it cuts off itself? Yeah. That's so cool. Okay. Yes please. Hold the trigger. Oh, yeah. If that happens, it's fine because um, redo it again in that sure. same spot. How did you get that so straight and smooth? No, that's not straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, just make sure you have constant pressure. Okay. And you can sort of like do it really close or more far apart, but that makes the shag sort of looser or tighter. Oh you can, no! You can, no, that's fine. Oh. Just, all good. You can just come back and start again. Oops. Oh, actually, I noticed. Maybe put the trigger in the fabric a bit further. Oh, okay. Back. What's the balloon next door? What's the balloon? Yeah, it's you with the balloon. Oh. Remember how you sat with the balloon? <laughs> What's that reference? It's uh, really therapeutic. Um, I feel like I'm calmed by it because um, it's repetitive mm -hmm. um, and I can, like, it's not too, I don't have to use too much brain power. Just lots of straight lines. Yeah. <laughs> like straight lines. <laughs> See? That's okay. smile. That's what this is all about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mindfulness means that you're sort of in a state of um, happiness. What else do you do besides tufting to look after yourself? I try to eat well. Whenever I eat like crappy foods, I always feel shitty and <laughs> lazy and really awful. As soon as I start eating better, I feel amazing and also exercise really helps. I think craft helps me a lot. When I get home from work, I'm so tired, so sometimes that's not, I don't get things done that I'd like to. If I have a break, I always try and think of a project I can work on. Why do you think crafts like this are important? Having something physical that we've made is so, it's sort of like back to our roots, mm -hmm. almost like I don't ever want to get away from this.
how do you like people to support you? Just being there to listen. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that the person listens and like doesn't try and bombard you with heaps of information or like having support from every from everyone, like mm -hmm. more of a community feeling. Not just relying on one person. I think um, our time with the pandemic is well it's been happening, people have sort of like been sheltered and haven't really realised the significance of it. So this is carpet and cork adhesive, um, a spatula. And so this um, goes over the top of your, your work mm -hmm. um, and it sticks the bits of wool together. I'm so keen to see what it looks like. <laughs> Big reveal. <laughs> oh no. Oh, cool. <laughs> Almost. So next part we need this felt yep. um, and some carpet uh, glue. It's sort of like an adhesive, a spray adhesive. First of all we need to kind of put these um, edges in so they're a bit hidden. Now we get the felt and kind of just cut it to the shape. Actually even both because I think you have to apply it to both 